so I'm making this video because I've been discussing some problems that I've been having with a few people on YouTube so hopefully they can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about but yeah I've been working on this EC135 by Roban for a little over a month and a half now I'm running cyclic servos they are Align DS820M I'm using a NASA H which also has the GPS which you can see is mounted back there I have a light control box because I didn't like the light controls that came with the model I'm using a hobby wing 200 amp speed controller along with a hobby wing BEC The motor I'm using, a line dominator. And the batteries that I'm using are two 6S that I'm running in Siri and two, two S that I'm running in parallel. So as soon as those guys get charged, I will plug up the light control and show you the problems that I'm having. Okay, batteries are all charged up. I have everything on here. And let's see what's going on with the system. As you can see, I am using a Fly Sky controller. And these are my current NASA settings. In heading mode, heading hold mode, I have 80%. And in rate mode, I have 45%. And I keep rising it because I thought there was something wrong with my gains. But I think I finally figured out I'm having a drifting issue with my tail servo. And I'm not sure how to fix it. So let's go to heading hold mode. Let's just get right to it. So, so right now I'm heading hold mode. I give it some pitch. It's, that's what it's supposed to do, it stays. But then what happens is it drifts back to center so on the test run I actually sp spooled up and I moved the tail to see if it would correct itself which it did the tail held but after a few seconds I had a drift and the tail wanted to start spinning because it's it's back to the center and there's no how you say that the torque starts overpowering the tail because the tail has no action to the torque because of the drift 
and I'm not sure why I have a drift. I have no trim on my tail. Being that, as I hear, drivers don't like to have any trim. So, I'm very irritated right now. Try and get this thing in the air before the snow comes around. And it seems not to be cooperating with me. And these right here are just vents that I want to put in. I don't want to use the stickers that came with the model. So basically, cutting holes where they're supposed to go, answering them. My top tragically had a big ass crack in it. I'm not sure how it happened. It didn't come that way, but maybe my nephew, my niece got to it cracked it so it's basically broken half so I have to figure out where the hell to get a new one if anybody knows please let me know so I can order one but let's do a spool up so you know exactly what I'm talking about so I have my pitch curve down to negative 3% and I'm running my throttle at 50% for this test. So, as you can see, when I move the tail this way, it will correct itself and come back this way. It will hold, and then after a few seconds, it will drift, and it gives me this reaction. It starts coming this way again. So, if anybody has any solutions or if I'm doing anything wrong, please feel free to let me know. I'll take any and all criticism or just pure help. The first helicopter that I built was an 800 size Airwolf. Something I should have never done. Bad tragedy. tragedy. Starting off with only two blades for my first scale helicopter without without any fly bars. So. Well, 